Hello guys, so a few months ago I did an unboxing of the uh, second hand uh, new regular uh, 3DS on my channel and like I said before, my my, 3D, my main 3DS was the new 3DS XL but then I always wanted to have a new regular uh, 3DS because of the swappable play faceplate so as you can see right now, it's uh, sporting the Yoshi uh, faceplates right here so I do have a lot of them, uh, I did some of the, uh, I, I did a video of my faceplate collection basically if you want to see that but today what we're going to do is that I have a new uh, addition to my 3DS family because like I said before the only 3DS missing in my 3DS family line are the two uh, 2DSs the 2DS original and the uh, new Nintendo 2DS XL so if you can remember there are uh, currently um, how many I believe um six um in the in the entire uh, 3ds line so you have the original 3ds regular the original uh, nintendo 3ds xl and then you have the new nintendo 3ds regular which is of course this one and then you have the new nintendo 3ds xl which is this one and then you have the regular uh, 2ds the one that you can't fold and then you have the new nintendo 2ds xl and and basically today is uh like the black black friday weekend on South, in South Africa and that's why I got myself a new Nintendo 2DS XL Minecraft um, Creeper Edition okay and it really looks very cool and of course on top of that I also got a Luigi plushie so now I have the Mario Brothers um, Luigi pl plushies also for sale I think around nine or uh, ten dollars this one is actually uh, this brand new this one is actually on sale for a hundred dollars so I really I really wanted this because I, I've always wanted a Nintendo 2DS XL but I really wanted this particular uh, version as specifically and the one reason is that uh, my fiance wants to have her own um, console her own uh, 3ds and she wants uh, she really wants the color green so I'm, I'm planning to uh, uh, leave this with her with my fiance she loves the color green and she also loves uh, minecraft so minecraft uh, comes built in with this uh, unit and another reason is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you is Typically, if I have a new 3DS, so a new 3DS, and aside from, uh, you know, a better, better performance, better sp uh, CPU inside, they have actually a C-Stick right here, okay? They have a C-Stick knob, and what I typically do is, this C-Stick knob, you use it, like, for games, for example, that you uses the control for the third-person camera. The thing is, it doesn't work very well, especially if it gets, like, a little bit old older. So what I do is, I usually mod it using the 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 what do you call this the the one on top of the analog knob of a PSP 1000 and the thing is you you can you can you know look for this but the the most common color is the color black and it's really hard to you know if you're looking for a, a specific color i have a friend who has like a red um new uh 3ds xl his his uh, knob is colored black so I, he, he doesn't mind but i don't like it because you know it doesn't match the color so here I, I wanted it to match the color and of course similar with my new regular 3ds that's why i wanted a black one it's also because of this uh, exact reason so you have right here the the knob uh, let's see if my camera can capture that right here okay i also modded it so instead of having a c stick um i, I replace it with the analog knob of the psp 1000 that way the it controls um uh, very well and i have right here some extra ones so this is the ones that, that i removed from the new regular and then i have i have a few extra black ones that i'm gonna put on the minecraft and again the black one would look really good on it because as you can see um, by default, its buttons are black. Okay, it's black on green. So the D-pad and the face buttons are are colored black. So no, the moment I put the the mod, the cystic mod right there, okay, for the for the knob, then it it won't look ugly because it's gonna match the black on green uh, color scheme. Okay, but anyway, so so that's that's what I got. So let's unbox it right now. I'm I'm so excited for this because my fiance and and I we both love uh, Minecraft. So we expect. The stuff inside that we expect here is, so it should contain a, the console itself, the AC adapter, a stylus, a micro SD card, 4 gigabytes, and then the AR cards, which for this case is actually, you know, not useful because AR cards, you're going to enjoy them if it's in 3D. And Nintendo basically gave up on the 3D the moment they gave, they released the original 2DS. You know, before that, the 3DS was, the, the 3D feature was like one of the main selling points of the 3DS. But then the moment they released 
3DS, you know, games also stopped utilizing 3D in their games. So there are still games that, uh, even modern games that use a lot of uh, nice 3D ex- uh, effects. For example, Yokai Watch 3. But majority of them, you know, they 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 gave up using the 3D altogether. But anyway, let's unbox this beast right here. Okay, so you have. Okay, let me set aside the box. So you have the console right there, the creeper looking at you. So if you're familiar with Minecraft, you should know what the creeper is. It's the exploding guy, you know, when, when it comes near you. But let us set that aside on top of my um, uh, 3DS XL. So you do get under under it the charging cable, the, the AC adapter. And at the back, the some manuals and of course, the AR cards, okay? So let's set these aside and you have this, okay? So my girlfriend will really love this because, you know, she green is, is her uh, favorite color. So let me take it out. And man, look how shiny that is. So you have there an uneven surface, you know, so trying to recreate the blockiness of Minecraft and of the Creeper. And then, you know, they just remove something here to, uh, to outline the shape of the eyes and the mouth of, of the Creeper. So at the back, you have there the word uh, Minecraft. And you have here, right here, your um, stylus. And, of course, the nice thing about the new 2DS XL is that instead of, um, for the for the, oh, the other models of the new 3DS, like the XL and the regular, you do have to remove the back with a screwdriver in order to have access to the micro SD card. Here, you don't need to. You know, you have a micro SD card um, right there already, okay? So that we won't be opening it again, let's slot a game in there. So right now, I have here um, one of the games that I brought with me in South Africa. I didn't bring everything, of course, is um, Monster Hunter uh, Ultimate, uh, uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, so one of my uh, favorite games on the uh, uh, 3DS. Let's slot it in there. And the nice thing is the game is covered, you know, so it doesn't like, while you're playing, it doesn't get, it doesn't have the uh, risk of getting accidentally removed. Okay, but there is the Minecraft edition. So let's open it. All right, and then let's get this some sort of protective thing on the screen. So the, the top screen, if you notice, is, notice, it looks like a smartphone, you know, and so if you buy, I'm going to buy a screen protector for this, so the bottom would be plastic, the, the top would be tempered glass, but usually the, the tempered glass that are made for the 2DS XL, they do cover the entire uh, screen because in the, in the, 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 these guys, the, the, the 3DS ones, the, the, not the 2DS model, they have here the speaker grills are on this side, so you don't need to cover this on this side, it is actually matte. Okay, similar with the, let me open my XL right here. So it's matte over there. So you ju just put the screen protector over the uh, screen uh, real estate. But here, you can't do that. If you just put a screen protector here, here it's not matte, it's shiny. So it's prone to scratch, especially so if you if you close the console and then if I'm going to mod it with the analog knob right here, then maybe it's going to scratch. So a tempered glass on the whole top would be very welcome. Okay, let's turn this on. But before that, so you can see there the, the one I mentioned, black on black, uh, black on green uh, D-pad and uh, face buttons. Here's your analog stick and then here's your C-stick knob. So let's turn the beast on. Let's hope that st there's still battery left. All right, it's turning on. And again, you don't get the 3D slider. Your volume slider, instead of here, you get it on the left side, volume slider. Okay. New Nintendo 2DS. Select a language. So let me take the stylus. I think you were gonna need it. So the stylus is, look at the stylus. It's fat, but it's very short. But it's fine, you, you just use it for tapping anyway. Okay. So English, okay. You need to set up the system before playing any games. Okay. Well, the new Nintendo 2DS XL system can run all Nintendo 3DS and new Nintendo 3DS software. It cannot display 3D images. So that's a, that's a nice point because games, for example, the built-in game here like uh, Minecraft, they actually on, only run on new Nintendo uh, 3DS or 2DS models. They don't run on, on the OG game. So uh, OG, uh, the original model, the Nintendo XL and the, the Nintendo 3DS XL and the Nintendo 3DS, the one without the new moniker. So, so games like... Like, uh, Minecraft, Binding of Isaac, uh, Sinoblade, and all that. Okay, let's play it. Press OK. This system works in the same way as the new Nintendo 3DS. You can enjoy the same online services and software as on a new Nintendo 3DS system. Any reference to Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo new Nintendo 3DS in software is applicable to new Nintendo 2DS XL. 
configure date uh, and time um, okay so today is um, November 30 November 30 the time is around I don't know um, 35 to 35 um, to 35 okay let me just um, correct that if it's not if it's not the actual time enter a username so I'm gonna actually input the nickname of my uh, fiance right here already typically mine is a1 but let's input her nickname her date of birth uh, is April 22 February, February March April 22 and mm, I don't know country let's just put um United States I'm not seeing United States here how come um, ah, bec maybe because um a a what do you call this the Minecraft edition is uh, is a European um, it has a European region so let's just use United Kingdom okay um, yeah let's just put I don't know England for example yeah like like I said I'm, go I'm just gonna change that eventually um, configure your internet settings let's just do that next time uh, later let's just do that later um, set later some parents or legal guardians can limit access to certain features which they may deem unsuitable for their children some items you can restrict internet browsing online interaction all right fine let's not set that because it's gonna be used by my fiance you should transfer data from your old nintendo 3ds system before playing on this system otherwise save data created for downloadable software on this system will become unusable after the transfer uh, don't transfer because yeah it's gonna be independent so now the home button is here we have now been configured and opening the home menu do not turn off the power okay this is awesome the color green you know but I still prefer my favorite favorite color is blue green but I still prefer black on my consoles because they don't get um, dirty right away but my, my fiance I'm, I'm sure she's gonna take care of this uh, very well okay as you can see um, there's like a the notification button uh, LED light is right here. Typically, they're on the um, upper right corner. The theme shop is now open. Changing the theme lets you customize your home menu with various designs and sounds. All right, next. You can visit the shop by touching home menu settings in the upper left of the screen to change themes. Okay, let's not... Okay, let's change... Um, let's, let's hopefully there's a green one. If not, then let's just go with the OG or with the black. Okay, let's see. Mm, there's no, there's no. Let's, let's just use default. Okay, we have notifications right here. And okay, let's just close that. It's weird. It still says it says there's nothing on my on my uh, slot, even though we put in there the Monster Hunter for Ultimate. So of course the usual, you know, Nintendo solution is let's just open it again and then remove it and then try putting it again. So hopefully it, it, it reads it now. Mm -hmm. No, it's not reading it at all. The the game the there is nothing inserted into the game card slot. That's weird. Let's blow on this. Okay, the usual Nintendo solution. If you grew up with like NES, SNES and stuff like that. Oh it's not reading at all. How come? Mm. Ah, I know why. I think I know why. It's because this is uh yeah I, I forgot I I got so used to you know um uh Nintendo Switch which is um it's it's not region lock. 3ds is actually region lock. So since this is a US um cartridge, I can't use this use this here actually. So you got I gotta like you know share the digital stuff with my uh, fiance and so that she can play her uh, games digitally. So again, the built-in game uh, card is um four gigabytes so i'm gonna upgrade that to something like 32 i think that will be enough for my fiance and then she's gonna be able to use it but anyway guys the the battery is running low on this one yeah i forgot about the region lock thing but that's that has been the unboxing of this um minecraft edition i do have an extra bag right here 
it says 3ds you know for 3ds but it actually fits right there okay so i have now the bag for my um minecraft edition but anyway guys yeah this is a nice addition to my 3ds collection so now i have uh i have a complete no not complete almost complete uh nintendo ds uh nintendo 3ds family lineup so the only thing i'm missing is the 2ds regular but anyway thank you very much guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye